I'm Matt Wazbinski, and this is the Waz Report. Cue the music. Welcome to the June 22nd Waz Report. Here are today's stories. Last night, I went to the midnight premiere of Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. It was awesome. Uh, it was funny knowing it was funny. It kind of went away with the ridiculousness of it. One of my favorite parts, though, was that it actually incorporated historical events. If you can get over the fact that there's vampires, it totally makes sense. Effects and fight scenes are done great. Definitely a good summer flick to go check out. So if you don't mind a few jumpy parts here and there, and you want to see vampires that aren't glittery and making out with each other, this is definitely, definitely a movie you should go see. Let's just rewind it. Start it now. Go. The next thing I want to talk about is the NBA Finals, which I got completely wrong. I thought Oklahoma City Thunder was going to be the better team, but they really showed that they're 23 years old. So it's kind of expected that maybe they weren't ready for the biggest of stages. But not to take anything away from the Miami Heat. Congratulations, the Miami Heat are the 2012 NBA champions. I have a special shout out to my cousin Andrew Lobrick, who is the biggest Miami Heat fan I have ever met. He's got Heat tattoos, Dwayne Wade tattoos, and I think he's finally going to get a LeBron tattoo after these finals. Yes, he was a fan before the whole LeBron thing happened. So, congrats, buddy. Hope you're enjoying yourself um, and enjoy the win. There are a few things I would like to talk about. One, officiating was garbage. But two, that's not why OKC lost. OKC lost because they couldn't hold themselves together. Miami was the better team, more composed, and they just won. Even though the ref's calls were going in favor of Miami, OKC couldn't step up when it was their chance. If OKC makes their shots, makes their free throws, doesn't make dumb mistakes, they could win a bunch of those games. Miami did that. They nailed their shots and closed it out. And that is why they're champions. Make a note about the whole LeBron James thing. I am either a LeBron James hater or a LeBron James fan. What I don't like in sports is that you either have to crown him better than Michael Jordan or a complete and total joke. Can't we just find that middle ground somewhere in there? I'd say when it's all said and done, he's a top 15, top 10 player for sure, but comparing him to Jordan just because he won one championship? It's kind of ridiculous. What I don't understand is why Kobe Bryant has to win six championships to be in the conversation of Michael Jordan, and LeBron wins one, and all of a sudden it's neck and neck? I understand, he's an amazing talent, plays great defense, good shooter, can charge to the rim. I understand, but the thing is, he still needs to prove it. Not taking anything away from this, he earned his MVP, he earned this ring, but it can't just be a simple one and done. So best of luck to the Miami Heat, you guys are a great organization, Best of luck to you. Go Pistons! I'm just... Why not? Soda Palooza. Thank you, Racetrack. Something I've wanted to talk about all week is something that's been launched this week. And it's called the Microsoft Surface Tablet. Now, Microsoft has already released something called Microsoft Surface. If you're not familiar with it, it's kind of what you see in like Mission Impossible movies where it's a big glass table and you like throw down something on it like a piece of paper and then it reads the piece of paper and you can like move stuff around or you can like put your phone on it and then it will take all the information off of it and you can arrange it and then put it back on the phone. It's really really cool. Uh, the downside is it costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's not very practical for the day to day person. But it's a very very cool device. Um, basically think like a really big uh, touch screen coffee table. What Microsoft has been doing is just mostly making software. Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista, things like that. And then they kind of just let other companies run with it, such as Dell and Sony. 
But what most people forget is that Microsoft's actually very good with hardware, as we've seen with the Surface and with things like Xbox. So what they noticed was that Apple was kind of kicking everyone's butt in the tablet world. And they were giving the software for all these really okay tablets, but that's all they were was okay. Not even close to Apple, really. So they finally decided, why don't we just make our own? And that's what they did. This past week, they released the Microsoft Surface tablet. And from what I've seen from watching the keynote and the different commercials is it is sweet. There's a few things I like about it. One, you have a USB port, which means more memory. Uh, you can add things to it, take things away from it. That's one thing that I wish the iPad had because whatever your internal memory is, is your limit. But the Surface tablet, you can add more, take away, plug in a hard drive, do whatever you got to do, which is very cool. I also liked how it has multitasking. For example, if you're Skyping with someone, you can do the snap screen. So you can be Skyping on one half of your tablet and take notes with the other half. It also has a stand built right into it. How the stand works is they model it after a car door. So when it's closed, completely smooth. And you click on it and release, pops right out. It's very nice. Uh, you don't have to fumble with different things or add-ons. It's just built right into it. And the last thing I want to mention is the case. The case is very, very cool. And when you open it, it's a fully accessible keyboard. It works just like a regular keyboard. So if you'd rather type on that than on the screen, that's an option. I think it actually looks better than the iPad. But then again, this is a keynote which means basically they hype it all up, all the good stuff, and we don't really know how it looks in real life. And before you get me wrong, one, I am not an Apple fanboy, but neither am I a Microsoft fanboy. I'm recording this on a Mac. I have notes on my iPad. So don't think that I'm an Apple basher, but at the same time, I don't think just because you have an Apple logo on something that it makes it automatically better than anything that anyone else can do. Bare minimum, it's going to make Apple do stuff better with the next iPad because they don't like being bested in anything. I have an iPad 2, and I love it. It's fantastic. I use it more than my laptop, carry it everywhere. It's great. But this Microsoft Surface tablet is making me think I might want to switch. Go ahead and check it out. The keynote, the commercials, everything is on YouTube. And also, I'll put something in the link below. Which leads us to the question of the day. Do you think that the Microsoft Surface tablet is going to make any competition or be as good as advertised? Or do you think that Apple has just cornered the market and nothing's ever going to beat the iPad? Feel free to leave your comments down below or tweet me at DJWaz, hashtag WazReport. Last thing before I go, I just wanted to point out the cool shirt I'm wearing. I'd say the word swag. I didn't hate the word swag. Uh, it's representing the Matam Project. What the Matam Project is trying to accomplish is to build schools in Africa with the overall goal of reaching the loss of the Christ. It's a very cool project. You can check it out at the Matam. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Thank you. Check it out at www.matam.com project.org, M-A-T-A-M project.org. Feel free to go online, donate, see how you can help. That's the shirt. Closer. You want to see it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Uh, during the week, if you guys have anything that you want to see me talk about or just want to chat with me, feel free to either send me an email with a link to the story to talk to Waz at gmail.com or tweet me at DJ Waz. Love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm Matt Wazbinski and that's Waz up.